Mekuja hapa sana kama rafiki wa huyu bishop wetu Makarioke. And I want to say with all humility, thank you very much bishop for being our friend. Watu wa Kiingereza wanasema a friend in need is a friend indeed. Thank you for being a friend indeed. So asante sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa kanisani. Nichukue nafasi hii kwa wananchi wa hapa Ruwai, wananchi wa Kasarani na wale wote wa Nairobi, niseme tena asante sana kwenu. Hasa wale wa hapa Ruwai na Kasarani kwa sababu tumekuja hapa karibu maya, mara ya kwanza leo kanisani. Asanteni sana kwa kura zenu. Asante kwa kutupatia nafasi ya uongozi katika taifa letu la Kenya. Tuliomba kura yenu, mkatupatia, mkatuamini, mkatuunga mkono, tukawa washirika moja. Mimi nataka kwa niaba ya wale wote tuliopata nafasi ya kuchaguliwa ni seme asante sana. <laughs> Narudia tena nikisema asante sana. <laughs> Na kwa sababu mumetimiza sehemu yenu. Mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba without fear of any contradiction na sisi tutatimiza sehemu yetu yale mambo yote tulikubaliana na nyinyi ya vile tutaendesha taifa letu mbele kwa ushirika kwa kuunganisha wa Kenya wote na kwa kushughulika na mambo ya maendeleo hivyo ndivyo tutakavyofanya nataka ni wa shukuru wana MCC kwa sababu ya maono mlio nayo kuhusu sehemu hii ya ya Ruai na mji wetu wa Nairobi. Na mimi nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba vile muko na maono ya kubadilisha Ruai na Nairobi, serikali ya Kenya itasimama pamoja na nyinyi. Pale mahali pote ambapo mnatuhitaji kama ni county government sakaja yuko hapa kama ni national government huyu rigiji na mimi na hawa wengine wote tuko hapo na tutasimama na nyinyi kwa sababu yale mnapanga mazuri yanaambatana na mpango wetu kwa mji wetu wa Nairobi so we want to join in your vision for what you want to do in this place and to confirm that you have our commitment and you have our support kama ni ku approve yale mambo yanatakana kuwa approved sehemu hii kama ni kutengeneza barabara ikae mzuri vile karisa amesema tutashughulika na hiyo kazi kwa sababu mmetupatia nafasi ya kufanya hiyo kazi niwaambie ya kwamba ile mpango mmesema ya title deed ama titling ya sehemu hii tayari tumeketi chini na county government kulikuwa na matatizo kidogo mahali fulani tumeshaitatua kulikuwa na digitization ambayo ilichelewesha mambo ya eh, issuance of title deeds mimi nataka niwaambie tumeshaitatua hiyo jambo and in the shortest time possible vile governor wetu amesema tutapatia nyinyi title deeds zenu hapa Nairobi Nairobi hapa ilisahaulika siku nyingi watu walikuwa wanafikiri Nairobi kila kitu iko sawa tulikuwa tunashughulika na sehemu zingine mpaka tukagundua hata Nairobi kuna matatizo makubwa sana kwa hivyo title deeds for this city we will come back here in the next 60 days so that you can have your titles you can develop this area vile vile ni wahakikishie ya kwamba vile tulisema tayari tumekubaliana na county government ya Nairobi kwa mambo ya masoko we have agreed on the areas i think already the county has identified 11 sites in Nairobi we agreed we are going to have 20 sites for new markets in Nairobi county na tayari 
hapa ruai pale tulisimama wakati moja tukasema tutajenga tutajenga soko hapo tuliongea juu yake last week na tumekubaliana tutajenga soko hapo as one of the priorities for the city na zile zingine ambazo zitaendelea katika city yetu ya Nairobi tumekubaliana vile vile mambo ya maji kwa sababu bado tuko na changamoto kubwa sana maji Kenya mzima ikiwemo city yetu ya Nairobi na ndio mmesikia tumeweka mpango tayari ya kujenga dams mia moja katika taifa letu la Kenya hapa Nairobi tumekubaliana ya kwamba ile miradi ambayo yalikuwa yamekwama tutazikwamua ni watangazia ya kwamba maji kutoka Karemenu imefika Ruai in the next two, three weeks hiyo maji itafika hapa Embakasi hii area yote hii so tutapangana na county government tujue itatembea namna gani vile mmesikia governor amesema kesho we are releasing 500 million ya kukamilisha mpango ya Northern Collector Tunnel ndio maji ifike hapa by the end of next month tuwe na maji another 140,000 liters cubic liter, meters of water that will come to the city of Nairobi kwa sababu mmesikia Nairobi is still a water deficit city and being the capital city of Nairobi tunataka kuhakikisha kwamba tunapata maji ya kutosha wiki moja ama siku kumi zilizopita nilienda ufaransa kukuamua maji pia ya damu ya ruiru tu ambayo sasa tuko na pesa ya kujenga ruiru tu kuongeza maji ambayo inakuja Nairobi tukianza na Kiambu Kiamba alafu ile itabaki itafika hapa Nairobi so that we can increasingly tuongeze maji ambayo itakuja Nairobi e Islands sehemu nyingi ya Islands ilikuwa haina mambo ya sewage na ndio tumesema as we do the planning of the city of Nairobi tumeweka pesa karibu bilioni saba na development partners ili tuweze kutengeneza sewage system ya hapa Ruai ya sehemu mbalimbali ya hapa Islands ndio Islands ikae kama Nairobi ama ikuwe part of the city of Nairobi vile mumependekeza so haya mambo yote ambayo mmetueleza they are already in our plan tuhakikishe ya kwamba we tunashughulika na mambo ya maendeleo ya city yetu ya Nairobi the greening exercise ya Kenya na Nairobi and i want to thank the church bishop ametueleza kanisa mumeamua mta eh, kuza miti milioni mbili tumeambia Nairobi city every year they have to plant a million trees in the city of Nairobi and majority of the areas will be in Eastlands itakuwa ni sehemu kama hapa Ruai ndio tutaweka vijana tutawalipa wapande miti wachunge hizo miti ndio to green the city of Nairobi na tusafishe mji wa Nairobi so tutashirikiana namna hivyo tutatembea barabara hiyo pamoja na ndio mimi nawauliza watu wa Nairobi nikiwauliza wa Kenya wote ya kwamba mazingira iko na matatizo sio Kenya dunia mzima na njia moja ya kubadilisha hali ya mazingira katika taifa letu na katika dunia yetu ni kuhakikisha kila mtu mahali popote unapanda miti mpango ya kupanda miti bilioni 15 tumeweka tayari mipango tofauti tumekubaliana county government ya Nairobi watashirikiana na Kenya Forest Service na wizara yetu kuhakikisha kwamba we are greening Nairobi as we are greening Kenya ndio tuweze kuendelea pamoja kesho ama wiki inayokuja watoto wetu wengi watarudi shuleni watoto wa primary school watoto ya junior secondary school watoto wa secondary school wote wanarudi um, shuleni kuanzia kesho nataka niwaambie wa Kenya wote 
tumeshafanya mipango ya kutosha kuhakikisha kwamba watoto wetu wakirudi shuleni watapata mipango iko sawa sawa tume release pesa karibu bilioni 36 kuhakikisha kwamba watoto wetu wote wanapata mambo shuleni mambo ya vitabu mambo ya walimu mambo yale mengine yote ambayo yanahitajika kwa masomo ya watoto wetu itakuwa tayari vile niliambia taifa tumekamilisha kuajiri walimu wengine 1030 watakao shughulika na masomo ya watoto wetu so as our children go back to school tomorrow we have made adequate arrangements so that our children can learn in an environment that is uninterrupted and i want to ask parents as i ask teachers and guardians and all citizens to allow our children to go back to school without um hurdles so that we can provide the environment for our children to access education seamlessly so hiyo mpango yote nataka niwaambie wazazi kesho kila mtoto arudi shuleni tumefanya mpango kama serikali ya kutosha kesho vile vile eh, muliona deputy president juzi kesho pia tunaanza ku supply fertilizer kwa wakulima wetu wakulima milioni tano tayari tumewasajili kuanzia kesho they can buy fertilizer from any uh, store of ncpb and other outlets that we have identified from across kenya kwa sababu tunaamini njia ya kupunguza gharama ya maisha ni kuzalisha chakula na kuzalisha chakula ni kuwasaidia wakulima watusaidie kwa kazi hiyo ya kuzalisha chakula chakula iwe kingi ifike hapa eh, eh, ifike sokoni kwa bei nafuu tupunguze gharama ya maisha that is the plan we have for moving our nation into the future nataka niwashukuru wana mcc kwa kukubali kuungana na sisi katika program ambayo itapatia vijana wetu ajira program ya affordable housing congratulations vile nimesikia mumesema mtakuwa na nyumba mia moja hapa mtakuwa na nyumba mia tano mahali pengine mia tano mahali pengine sisi tulikuwa tumepanga kujenga nyumba elfu mia mbili hapa Nairobi tayari mimi naona uh, kanisa ya deliverance mumechukua karibu 1500 so mumetupunguzia kazi na kwa sababu mnatusaidia kupunguza hiyo mpango na kutupunguzia kazi vile umesema bishop mimi na serikali tutawasaidia kutafutia nyinyi investors watakao saidia nyinyi so bishop tafuta mtu yako ambaye anasimamia mambo ya investment akutane na PS yangu anaitwa Charles Hinga Mwaura waketi chini tuko na watu ambao wako tayari kufanya kazi na nyinyi so that we can build those houses together hapa Nairobi tayari tunajenga nyumba karibu 1040 nia yetu ni kwamba by the end of this year tutakuwa tunajenga nyumba 1200 ili tuwapatie vijana 1300 nafasi ya ajira katika mji wetu wa Nairobi tunajua vijana wengi bado wana huyu sakaja ananiambia vijana wengi bado wako kwa dimanga so lazima tuatoe huko kila mtu apate mahali ya kujishikilia tuweze will, uh, kuwajumuisha wengine katika mambo ya greening the city tuwajumuishe wengine katika mambo ya affordable housing tuko na mpango ya agro processing na value addition ya ile mazao yetu ambayo tunauza katika nchi za nje tuwaweke wengine huko ndio tuweze kujenga taifa letu vile inavyopaswa kwa hivyo we seem to be building a consensus and i want to say thank you to the church for agreeing to work with us on the greening of our country to work with us on matters of affordable housing because all of us are united and have built a consensus to move our country forward i am also equally happy that as a country we have all agreed and we have built consensus that irrespective of your status of all other considerations whatever region you come from whatever religion you profess 
all of us, we have built a consensus that there will be no waiver of taxes for anybody. Sisi wote tumekubaliana kila mmoja wetu atalipa ushuru. Na mimi nimefurahi sana kwamba Kenya sasa sote tumeunganisha mawazo yetu na tumekubaliana hakuna mkubwa, hakuna mdogo, hakuna wakona hii na kona ile, sisi wote ni sawa mbele ya katiba na sheria na sisi wote tutalipa ushuru kulingana na mapato yetu. Hiyo ni maneno mzuri sana. Kwa sababu hatuongei ukabila, hatuongei dini, hatuongei kiwango, hatuongei nani mkubwa ama mdogo, mzee ama kijana, sisi wote tumekubaliana and it is the best consensus we can have as a nation. Na niyo njia ambayo itatusaidia kuokoa taifa letu kutoka janga la madeni. Dawa ya madeni ni sisi kulipa ushuru na kusimamia maendeleo ya taifa letu tukitumia pesa zetu mpaka tufike mahali pale badala ya kukopa tutakuwa tunakopesha watu wengine. That is the trajectory we want to go. Ile kitu pia nimeambia watu wa KRA ni kwamba kila mkenya apatiwe nafasi ya kulipa bila ya kushurutishwa, bila ya kuangaishwa, kila mtu atapatiwa nafasi. Hata tumeambia wale eh, government agencies, kuna wengine kampuni ama eh, idara za serikali badala ya kulipa ushuru wamepeleka KRA kotini tumewaambia wachana na kotini endeni mfanye mazungumzo na KRA mutoe mpango na taratibu ya kule ya kulipa ushuru pole pole tuache kusumbua na kotini kwa sababu mawakili ndio wanapata pesa na serikali inapoteza so we are asking and in fact there will be a circular that all government agencies cannot take care to court. If there is a challenge, let there be discussions between the various agencies with care, sort out issues out of court. We cannot using public money to go to court so that we stop paying taxes that we support public entities. We have to be united and seamless and organized. So haya ni mambo tutashirikiana pamoja na tutatembea na ini hiyo pamoja na mimi naamini ya kwamba Mungu atatusaidia. Asanteni sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa MCC. Tumefurahi sana kuwa kati yenu. Yale mambo yengine na mimi pia nitafanya ka investment kiasi eh, unajua, eh, unajua mtu ukiwa hasla uweze kusahau kufanya maneno. So <laughs> tutapangana vile tutasaidiana pamoja na nyinyi na hawa viongozi wengine. So asante sana Bishop Mark and your family for welcoming us the deliverance uh, leadership and family thank you very much for partnering with us in the development of our country. You have our support. Thank you for praying for our nation. Na wapatia tu changamoto ya kwamba musichoke kutenda mema. Keep doing the good that you're doing. Keep praying for our great nation so that Kenya can be lifted up. Asanteni sana na watakia baraka ya mungu. God bless you.